Thanks a lot for coming in. Good morning. Happy to be here. Something about this community appeals to you? This is a wonderful place to live. <laughs> for Kelowna Now, this is Kent Molgat. And we're joined by Dallas Gray from the Landmark Center. I hear, um, Dallas, that something new is happening here at Landmark, something big. Yeah, well, very big. It's what a, is it? it? It's an exciting day, uh, Kent. We're, uh, we're announcing that uh, Landmark 7 is on the horizon, and uh, it's our, our next big project here at Landmark Center. Okay, so when people who aren't super familiar with it look over at the Landmark buildings, they see the tall one, that's this one, that's Landmark 6. Yes, correct. Landmark 7 is going to be taller still? Landmark 7 is going to be a little taller than this one because it is going to sit up atop a parking garage. So uh, one of the things we pride ourselves at Landmark is all the parking we have. So uh, that building will sit up on top of a parking uh, garage podium with retail all around it and then uh, 19 stories of uh, office on top. So in total, uh, the building will be 24 stories tall. 24. So. So how it looks now, this is an 18-story building, so correct. picture six stories on top of that? Yes, exactly. The, um, with all these buildings here at Landmark, in the beginning it was, you know, you looked at it and said, oh, it, it's, it's the Landmark buildings. But with all, you know, now we're getting to six and seven, it really does start to be a district. Well, we've really, uh, over the last two years, made a major uh, effort and focus on the neighborhood of Landmark Center, which we're now branding out as Landmark District. And what that means is, is we have the six office towers and we've been very successful there, but we've really worked hard on creating all the retail amenities that a person in a district in a neighborhood would need. We now have everything from, uh, I believe it's 10 coffee shops and, uh, and uh, restaurants, uh, full service pharmacy, convenience stores, salons, and all the amenities you would need. In addition, we've been building residential in the neighborhood and over the last number of years, we built the Flats 1 and the Flats 2. So we're really focused on developing the neighborhood of the landmark district now. Right, and um, we talked about this earlier, but um, you know, in the immediate surroundings, I take it there are plans or ideas at least in place now to increase a little more high density housing so that people could truly live and work all in this same district. Absolutely correct. We do have a number of plans we've been working on for more residential in the neighborhood um, and we're just uh, waiting on the city and some of their planning with the um, with the neighborhood and and um, once they've uh, uh, decided what happens with the OCP for the neighborhood of the Capri Landmark District that'll unfold our future residential right. plans but definitely more residential in the neighborhood is something that is high high on our, our priority right. list. Because you talked about parking but that's always a knock on Kelowna and I think we've kind of earned it a little bit. We do depend on our cars too much. We do, yes and, yes. and this is something you hope to address with more housing right nearby. Well, correct. I mean, we're, we are on the uh, the, the bus uh, stop with the high-speed bus right out front, uh, and, but we, we do want the real live, work, play, and eat uh, right. at Landmark Center, and, and you do that by densifying the neighborhood. We do have the office towers, and we have um, um, currently 150 businesses working out of our six towers. Um, but our plan is to develop hundreds of more residential units over the coming years. And I take it that the decision to go for number seven is partly based on how you've been doing lately in terms of getting Landmark 6 filled up. <laughs> Correct. It's a supply and demand. Uh, this past year has been our uh, record-breaking year, the busiest year in the history of, of this company. We, uh, we introduced 23 new businesses into Landmark Center in the past year. As well, 15 of our existing tenants expanded their space in the last year. So it's been an incredibly busy year, and now as a result, we are basically out of space. All our retail has been filled on the ground, and uh, that's why we're uh, announcing and launching Landmark 7. Um, we have demand, and we have companies calling every day from Vancouver and beyond looking for space in Kelowna, and uh, we need to build a new building to be able to fulfill right. that. Is this bad news for downtown? Will people be leaving their space there and coming here, leaving a problem? Downtown? You know, I don't think so. I mean, if you look at what's happened downtown over the last number of years, there's been a number of office buildings built and they've filled as well. Um, and so as we're filling at the Landmark District, they're filling downtown. I think there's just a demand for Class A office space. And in terms of Class A office space, it is limited in town. I mean, we have um, six buildings now and over 750,000 feet and it's all full. And so we need more. Right. And you were saying that you, when you go to start to try to fill up Landmark 7, 
that you, you're focused a bit on the lower mainland? Yeah, part of our strategy is really to attract from afar because we have had so much interest. Uh, a lot of companies are looking from Vancouver to Kelowna for either second office locations or complete moves of their offices from Vancouver, uh, largely due to the cost. Um, it's, it's much less to rent office space here, the operating cost is much less here, and your staff can enjoy a much better lifestyle here with uh, affordable housing and rentals and things like that. And it's also one of the things we've really prided ourselves on. We have um, the Flats 1 and Flats 2, we have rental apartments down there, and we give our landmark tenants priority over our rentals. And uh, we have so many of our, our um, uh, people that work here every day just living right down the road already. Right. So when might we expect to see construction start? Uh, well, we're hoping to, um, to start here in the spring uh, with uh, digging and starting the prep of the site and then uh, the spring of 2022, so about three years the project will take, uh, we will be done and the doors will open and um, starting in the spring as well, we'll be starting to pre-lease and um, talk to uh, various businesses about the opportunity of uh, Landmark 7. And so uh, we start now, the building doors will open in about three years. And just geographically place it for us as we sit here in Landmark 6, it's Kitty Corner and and close to the highway? Correct, it's gonna be uh, Kitty Corner on Dixon Avenue, so across the road on Dixon Avenue, and, uh, and uh, Kitty Corner to this building. And so it really actually ties the whole Landmark District together too. That brings the proximity of Landmark 2 and Landmark 6 and our 1, 2, 3 and our new district market that's out there on Highway 97. Right. It really ties it all together and part of that is also going to be um, a public plaza we're creating that's going to connect the, uh, the Highway 97 overpass from Parkinson Rec Center. It's going to bring you right back through a big wide corridor um, and a public realm uh, to Dixon Avenue. So it's really going to be able to bring Kelowna in and um, that's something we're really looking forward to as well. The, the building itself has a lot of really nice features. It's a real modern look. It's perfect for tech companies and there's a huge demand for that as we know um, over the past years. Uh, we'll have a second floor fitness club with a view and we're going to have a community um, uh, facility um, on the fifth floor. I believe it, uh, it'll seat 350 people and it'll have outdoor realm with community gardens and things like that. So that can be used by the community for community events, everything from from corporate events to weddings to Christmas parties. Right, and, and the look of the building, I mean, from the one representation we've seen so far, it looks very much like Landmark 6, it's sort of a twin almost of Landmark 6. We've wanted to create some similar traits to Landmark 6 certainly, but um, but this one does have, a, I think, a little more of a modern look, plus it looks different on the ground with all the retail around it. Right. Um, and there's gonna be retail all down Dixon Avenue and retail all up the plaza that connects to Highway 97, and uh, that will bring, again, more amenities to the Landmark District. Terrific. Well, thanks for telling us all about it. Perfect. Thank you. Alice Gray from Landmark Center, and thank you for watching Kelowna Now.